the Monday Night Raw crew is set to make its way to the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, this Sunday night from the All-State Arena, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and the lineup reads one of bad blood and issues that run oh-so-personal this Sunday at WWE Unforgiven. Just two weeks ago on Raw, Carmelo Hayes scored the biggest win of his main roster career, defeating the almighty Bobby Lashley, but it did not come without an asterisk. Hayes utilized one of the oldest tricks in the books with his feet on the ropes to gain the upper hand and steal a victory right out from underneath Lashley. As Bobby Lashley was coming off a disappointing loss in the main event of SummerSlam, this was not how he was looking to spend his Monday Night Raw return. Although Carmelo Hayes makes a viable argument to be one of the future stars of WWE, Lashley wants the young stud to prove his worth man to man. Lashley wanted round two, and now Melo seeks to see his name in the bright lights in this highly anticipated rematch this Sunday. The paths of Cedric Alexander and Sami Zayn have now crossed on multiple occasions, both men fighting with the same end goal in mind to secure the number one contendership for the Intercontinental title. As they traded wins back and forth in recent weeks, it was only fitting that both men find themselves with a golden opportunity at Unforgiven. The Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight, draws the unlucky hand of not only one, but two challengers. It's a triple threat match for one of Raw's most sought after prizes, the Intercontinental Championship. Becky Lynch made a triumphant return after over a year on the shelf back in January, earning her right to become the top contender for former women's champion Asuka's title at WrestleMania. However, a failure on the grandest stage of them all sent the man into a downward spiral, mental frustration, and unable to become women's champion. Becky Lynch found herself being served loss after loss for several months. It was only a victory over Tiffany Stratton on Monday Night Raw, and eventually qualifying for the Money in the Bank ladder match did Lynch find herself in the right state of mind again. However, Becky did not forget about that embarrassing tap out at WrestleMania earlier this year as Asuka re-emerged on Raw to challenge Shayna Baszler for the Women's Championship. Becky Lynch reared her head, setting her sights on one more go-around with Asuka. This time, not for any championships, but to prove that Becky still has what it takes to be on top of the mountain. Bragging rights and a chance to climb the ladder of contendership are on the line between these two all-stars of the women's division. 203 days after their clash at the show of shows, Asuka meets Becky Lynch one more time. 2023 has been a year of match of the year candidates in the tag team division. And this Sunday, not only are the world tag team titles at stake, but a back and forth issue to determine supremacy of Raw brings together the brawling brutes and the judgment day. Damian Priest and Finn Balor have held the gold since June at King of the Ring. All the while, Butch and Ridge Holland have scratched and clawed for an opportunity to stand toe to toe with the holders of the title. This is not the first meeting this year between these two duos. It was back at Vengeance in May, where the Brawling Brutes earned a victory over Balor, Priest, and Seth Rollins. It was just a few weeks later where the Judgment Day even the score to earn their top contendership. Now, their paths cross again in hopes of leaving Chicago, Illinois as the WWE World Tag Team Champions. Tommaso Ciampa spent months on Monday Night Raw trying to gain his footing after losing the tag team titles at WrestleMania and seeing his partner Johnny Gargano sent to SmackDown. Champa finally saw some light at the end of a rough tunnel when a Money in the Bank qualifying match came his way. But standing on the other side of the ring was a young, hungry, wild Samoan they call the street champ, Solo Sikoa. Champa outlasted the onslaught of the former NXT North American champion on that night. But little did he know, he was only lighting the flame to a fire that is going to be oh so difficult to put out. Ever since that night, Solo has made it his mission to make Champa's life a living hell. Costing Solo a spot in that ladder match may have cost Champa his career. Solo has put Champa through a table, ambushed him with a kendo stick, and sent him falling off a balcony through a massive spotlight. 
piercing Champa with broken glass and surrounding him with exploding electricity. Solo has also earned not one, but two victories over the Blackheart, but the issues are far from settled. Tommaso Champa is seeking retribution for those heinous acts of violence, and Sol Sokoa looks to build his name off Champa's behalf. Come unforgiven, it will be falls count anywhere between these two bitter rivals. Something's gotta give in a fight that could end up anywhere in the Windy City. And speaking of something having to give, we are set for what may be the most violent display of brutality in recent memory, as stuck between the confines of a solid steel cage is none other than the former WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle, as he takes on the Beast Incarnate, the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. It's a simple story of wins and losses that bleed an oh-so-destructive path between these two fighters. During Riddle's reign as WWE Champion, he became one of few men to ever conquer the Beast, defeating him back in May at Vengeance. But if there's one thing we know about Lesnar, it's the alpha male doesn't forgive, and he certainly doesn't forget. Lesnar has made a list, and checked it twice, of every man who in his mind has wronged him. He took care of old business with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, and now he has elected to change his focus towards Matt Riddle. Riddle has been on the receiving end of numerous F5s in recent weeks, and although Riddle has done his damnedest to hold his own, the brawls around the arena have gotten to take a toll on the original bro. But Matt Riddle has been to hell and back time and time again, and came out the victor on the other end. Will Riddle be able to survive and thrive in this encounter with Brock Lesnar, or is he simply the prey, walking into the lair of the beast, only to be eaten alive by the Predator. And in the main event, there is a lot of bad blood between the WWE Champion Seth Rollins and the challenger Sheamus. It all started back on April 3rd, when Sheamus defeated Rollins to earn a spot in the number one contender's challenge at Backlash. That was a loss that Rollins did not soon forget, as they continued to wage war back and forth. Another one-on-one -on -one meeting was set for the first round of King of the Ring at the end of May, a face-off that Seth Rollins would triumph in. But a win wasn't good enough for the Visionary, as he took the fight to ringside after the bell and curb stomped Sheamus straight to the floor, leaving the Celtic Warrior sideline for months. Rollins continued to move forward, winning Money in the Bank in July, all the while Sheamus was forced to sit back and watch. Sheamus resurfaced on Raw last month when Shinsuke Nakamura was in need of a tag team partner to battle Solo Sokoa and Seth Rollins. A victory for Sheamus and Nakamura sent a chilling message that the Great White was back on the hunt for ultimate payback. Rollins, of course, capitalized on his briefcase, cashing it in back at SummerSlam to win the WWE Championship. And boy, did the timing of it all make Sheamus' pursuit of Rollins that much more interesting. Now Sheamus has a chance to not only stick it to Seth Rollins and gain his retribution, but he also has a chance to become a five-time world champion here in WWE. Seth Rollins, still riding a high off last month's SummerSlam, does not plan on allowing Sheamus to step into his spotlight. It's high stakes, high reward, main event encounter as the Celtic Warrior Sheamus meets the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins for the most prestigious prize on Monday Night Raw the WWE Championship. Do not miss Monday Night Raw's exclusive Unforgiven event live this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Subscribe, become a member, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on this night of championships being decided, violence taking center stage, and personal scores to be settled. All roads have led to this Sunday, live in Chicago, Illinois, at WWE. Unforgiven! Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a rider.